Chronic Babe, an online resource for women who want to live kick-ass lives in spite of illness. S-C-O-R-E, score your way to victory. Even if you aren't scoring, spice it up, don't be so boring. S-C-O-R-E, score your way to victory. You might want to start by holding hands more often. <laughs> Throughout my life, I've been really lucky to have lots of supportive people around me, and I've learned a lot about chronic illness and romantic relationships. Before I go any further, I want to note that I'm speaking from my orientation as a straight woman, but these concepts carry across all intimate relationships. I just want to make sure no one feels left out. I've heard it said that chronic illness can be like a third person in your relationship. It's important to learn how to block that person out of your space so that there's just enough room for you and your honey. It's easy for us when we're sick to fall into a habit of telling all our gory details to our loved one every day. Imagine how overwhelming and frustrating that can be for that person, especially if it's all one-sided. That's why when you're in a relationship, it's essential to learn how to express your needs and your experience without disrespecting the needs and experience of the other person. You've got to listen to what they need too. Not to be cheesy, but it's got to be a two-way street. For example, right now I'm in a fairly new relationship with a guy who's still learning about my conditions and the things I use to cope. One of the things he likes to do is come up with a fix. Now this is kind of a typical guy thing to do. Not to say he's a typical guy, but there's many more guys out there I've met who do this than gals. I love him for wanting to fix things and sometimes it makes me a little crazy. This is not his fault. This is my hangup. I've learned to gently say to him, hey, can we hold off on solutions for a bit here? I just need to kind of vent and explain stuff. And he listens to that and respects it. Sometimes he'll even ask me, hey, do you want me to help you work through a solution or do you need me to just listen? That is awesome. I feel like that's great communication and mutual respect. And at the same time, I'm learning to respect the fact that he sometimes has ideas about things that I've never considered before. So even when I feel frustrated about his need to fix things, sometimes if I can calm myself down and kind of listen, I find out that there's great ideas there. For me, it's all about mutual respect, and that goes both ways. So even on a day when I don't feel good, I make sure to make time to listen to how his day's gone and the things that he needs and wants because after all, I may have some ideas for him too. Throughout my life, I've been lucky to, uh, I have to board people around me. <laughs> Something in my eye. Um, but imagine if, how am I gonna lie back over there? Link is at the end, is it cheesy? Should I just do this? Or? from my perspective as a straight woman, but can we hold off on solutions for now? And he will listen to that and respect that. And uh, something. 